Well, detoxification is a huge, huge um, topic, and we could take probably a whole week and discuss it, but we're going to do the Cliff Note version. And, you know, one of my favorite books um, is called The Cure by Dr. Timothy Brantley, B-R-A-N-T-L-E-Y, and I kind of stole part of the title uh, from my talk tonight because one of the chapters in his book is called Taking Out the Garbage. And I just love that title. And that's what we're really going to be talking about tonight. Um, <clears throat> you know, we, we're bombarded. We've talked about in one of the calls, we talked about all the, the, the chemicals and the toxins that are in our environment, that's in our food, our air, and our water, and uh, those chemtrails and the toxic um, industrial toxins that are buried in our earth and stuff like sick building syndrome and the fluorescent lighting in the buildings and the static air and the mold and mildew in the air ducts. You know, many corporate buildings never even clean those out, so you breathe in that old air. And um, uh, just all the kinds of things that are bombarding us, the, the, they throw all this toxic garbage and everything into our water system. It goes into our lakes and our rivers and our oceans. And so we're subject to so many toxins that we may not even know about. And, um, in our foods and everything. So we want to talk about how do we deal with that? How can we, uh, it's kind of a metaphor. You look at the toxic dump out in the world and that's, that's our colons. And you look at the garbage collector trying to get rid of our garbage and that's our lymphatic system. And then you look at, uh, um, you know, removing all of those wastes through that system. And then the toxic air, you know, that's represented in our lungs. So many people have lung congestion and mucus and what I call the green slime. We're always trying to get stuff out of our lungs and detoxify that way. And then talked about, we did a whole call on personal care products and how much of what most people are putting on their skin, which of course ends up in your bloodstream, are toxic, has all kind of toxic tag-alongs. And so our skin is kind of like the earth. It's, uh, it's our largest organ and it covers everything and holds everything together. So we kind of look at the what's happening to the earth and what's happening in our bodies. And then we've got toxic teeth. You know, we have so many people are still having those mercury fillings and you know, that's almost like the, the toxic chemicals that we're bearing in the earth that they're bearing in our teeth, and it depletes our immune system and, and contributes to this toxic overload. So we want to start to make these these good choices and, and take a look at how we can eliminate some of these toxins. And um, another uh, fun book, I don't know if some of you know about uh, Suzanne Summer, she has written some really wonderful books on nutrition. She's a best-selling author, and she has a book called Tox, P-O-X, dash, sick, S-I-C-K, and I love that pun on words, but she talks about from toxic to not sick. And um, there's a quote in one of her books. It says, the time has come when we are waking up to an alarming truth. We are killing ourselves with the same chemicals that we invented to make our lives easier, and that's some Dr. Alejandro Junger, and um, she talks about six major toxic threats, plastic and other chemicals, and we've talked about that. It's better to drink water out of um, bottles and not plastics, and most of us are using some type of plastic containers, you know, for leftovers, so I just want to give you a little hint. Um, we talked about before those plastics mimicking hormones and competing for the receptor sites for our home hormones. So plastics are not a, a great idea for ingesting anything that comes in them. But if you use uh, plastic containers for leftovers, don't put hot leftovers in the plastic container. Wait till they cool down and then put them cool and you won't have quite so much of those plastic chemicals leaching into your food. The other... Uh, major cause of toxic threats are low-fat food movement, all this processed sugar-filled foods and and um, the processed foods. Another one is toxic molds. The other one is the use of overuse of pills. Um, even a lot of our um, uh, supplements, minerals and so forth that we get at most health food stores are actually synthetic in all of the, the drugs. The synthetic drugs, they're all synthetic. Uh, GMOs, uh, EMS. We had a whole presentation on uh, electromagnetic energy fields, cell phones, and microwaves and cell towers. So these are some things that are causing 
toxins, and you know, a lot of these toxic threats, they seem kind of benign because we use them and interact with them on a daily basis. So you think, well, how could all these things pose a danger? And, you know, we're told the chemicals are safe and we've been encouraged to consume low-fat products and low-fat bats and they're loaded with garbage and preservatives and all kinds of weird stuff. And we say, well, sugar's not too bad. Well, you know, GMOs, you know, how could, you know, we're told that they're feeding the world and so forth. But we have to start making healthier choices and do our due diligence and take a look at some things that we can do to make a difference in our in our choices. So um, she also addresses a lot of um, uh, toxic chemicals in our environment, you know, even carpets, even fabrics, even building material. I went to visit a friend over the holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend, and she just recently, two months, three months ago, built a, what she calls a she shed. Oh, she was so excited. She wanted me to see it. So I walk in that building, and I could barely stand it. I, I, I had to just back out because it was so full of toxic smells and formaldehyde and so forth. So we're being exposed to things we don't even sometimes know about and, and have an understanding that how much of this is in, uh, affecting us, food additives, food colorings, preservatives, food flavorings, and so forth. So uh, we can't avoid it, but we can do something about it and make those healthier choices and try to figure out now uh, what we can do um, to make a, a bit of a, a difference in those. So um, let's talk about uh, gut gut health. And gut health is so important. We've, we've mentioned this before. 60% of our immune system is in our gut. And, you know, if you're 50 years old, you've got 50-year-old fecal matter in your gut. I know that sounds gross, but these are hardened, um, kind of encased mucoid uh, plaque uh, particles that you know, stick like glue and kind of almost like to our large intestine and small intestine, almost like some kind of a, a paste that glues our colon together. And it's interesting, uh, if you mix water and flour, it makes paste. And if you slap that on a wall and you slap some um, wallpaper up there, boy, you cannot get that off. It's going to stick and you'd have to scrape it and steam it to even get it off. Well, that's what happens in our colon when we eat bread, which is water and flour when we eat pasta. That even sounds like paste, doesn't it? So kind of watch some of those sticky um, foods, and even the word gluten sounds like glue. And we want to uh, take a look at that. And so I want to talk about a bit um, uh, the gut. And in uh, one of the chapters in her book, she has a quote by Dr. Joseph Mercola, and he's one of my favorite references. You can go to Mercola.com and really learn a lot about various uh, levels of health. And he talks about the interconnectedness of your gut, brain, immune system, and hormonal system is impossible to unwind. The past few years have brought a scientific flurry of information about how crucial your microflora are to your genetic expression, your immune system, your body weight, and your composition mental health, memory, and minimizing your risk for numerous diseases. And so we want to take a look at, do you have any of the following? And if you do, you are more than likely having some kind of gut challenge, fatigue and low energy, fungal and yeast infection, unexplained weight gain, diarrhea, constipation, frequent urination, stress, anxiety, joint pain, skin problems, blurred vision, brain fog, acid reflux, hemorrhoids, gas and bloating, poor immune function, acne and uh, eczema and rosacea, and even um, parasites. A lot of people are walking around with parasites and they don't even know it. And it's interesting, years ago I read a book about parasites and it, uh, the title of the book was Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? And I thought that was so cute and it's true. Uh, so <clears throat> we want to really take a look at some of these autoimmune diseases like chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia and even Lyme disease and all these mutated forms of that that we're being plagued with. Uh, many uh, of those things are related to gut health. You know, Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, he said, you know, all disease begins in the stomach. But then there are other uh, experts like Bernard Jensen and Paul Bragg and others that said all disease begins in the colon. And uh, I believe that's really true. But stomach, colon, that's still gastrointestinal tract. So we want to look at some things that we can do. And, you know, a lot of people don't think of this, but it, if you eat three meals a day, you should have three bowel movements a day. And most people, they're lucky to have one. 
so you wonder where all this rest of the, the waste products, uh, where it's going. And Adele Davis, she was a famous nutritional author back in the day, and many of us kind of grew up on her uh, work. And she wrote a famous book called You Are What You Eat. But now we've discovered it's real more accurate to say you are what you absorb. And if you've got a toxic bowel and all these mucus plugs that, that hold on to these little gili that are in there that help you absorb your food, then you're not going to absorb uh, your food very efficiently. And, you know, it's interesting. I remember an old saying that said, you know, if you want to keep healthy, uh, keep your mind and your heart and your um, uh, ears and your bowels open and your mouth shut. <laughs> it's interesting because we we want to really have to keep our bowels open, and if people are constipated, they're in trouble, and, and we need to take a look at that. So um, let's see. Uh, let's talk now about uh, – there was a, a wonderful story in one of the books in The Cure that I told you about with Dr. Timothy um, Brantley. And he told the story of a a young woman in her 20s, and since the age of 13, she suffered from severe epilepsy. And after reviewing, uh, Dr. Walker reviewed uh, her um, x-rays. This was a a doctor that he was quoting in his book. um, And he found out that she had distension and distortion in the colon. And he said, you know, you're going to have to do a series of colonics and, and a good detox program and and so he put her through this thing, and it was six weeks, and she did juicing, and she drank water every morning with lemon and so forth, and he made this whole program, raw vegetables, raw fruits, and so forth. And after the fifth week, uh, she passed a large amount of toxic sludge, and after that, she continued with the raw juices, raw foods, the colonics, there were several colonics a week. Her epileptic seizures totally disappeared, and they never came back. So if you don't think healthy gut is important, no matter what health challenge you have, that would be your first line of defense is to detoxify yourself. Um, so we'll talk about some of the things now that you can you can do for that. Um, in a, another great book, many of you have read some of Dr. Colbert's books. He's a wonderful Christian uh, spiritual MD. as uh, a graduate of Oral Roberts University um, School of Medicine. And... Uh, his book, many books he's written, but this one is called Toxic Relief. And he says there are so many diseases that are directly a buildup directly of toxins, and I'm going to share some of those. Food and environmental allergies and asthma and headaches and fatigue and fibromyalgia and chronic back pain, eczema, um, skin conditions, insomnia, depression, irritable bowel syndrome, decreased sex drive, menstrual problems, belching, bloating, gas, memory loss, chronic diarrhea, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, atherosclerosis, hypertension, obesity, constipation, angina, multiple sclerosis, coronary artery disease, cancer, mental illness, diabetes, and there's probably a gazillion others, but those are some main health challenges that are related directly to this buildup of toxins in our in our body, in our blood, in our gut. Um, so let's let's talk now about some suggestions. What can we do? <clears throat> and we've had this conversation before about water, water, water. Most people that I see, most of my patients are dehydrated, and most of my patients are minerally deficient. So you want to get good minerals, and you want to get good hydration. And the best form of hydration is the purest water you can find. And even if people can't afford that alkaline water machine, Healthy Place Botanicals has a wonderful um, formula. It's called alkaline drops. And just two or three drops in a glass of water will help you to alkalinize. All diseases uh, seem to thrive in an acid medium. And all the really fun foods that we love to eat cause acid. So you want to balance that out a bit and start to take a look at alkalinizing your system. And then, this is kind of common sense, but I'll say it anyway, you know, do some juicing and do a detox and do some raw juices and eat some raw fresh fruits and vegetables. Most people are, are not steaming their vegetables, they're boiling to death or they're nuking them in the, in the microwave. Um, and we've mentioned that before. I'd be throwing out that microwave. But anyway... Um, 
it's best to eat as much fresh and raw and juicing as you can, especially when you're doing a detox program. Lots of water, and um, I would usually in the morning, I tell all my patients, drink a big glass of water as soon as you get out of bed because you're already dehydrated when you wake up. And when you're going through a fast, it's good to drink at least eight ounces of hot water with a juice from about a fourth of an organic lemon if you can get organic. And that will really help to um, some of those intestinal problems like constipation and gastritis and colitis and toxic bowel. And uh, you can also add, you know, the juice, maybe a combination of some carrot and spinach to kind of encourage your intestines to clear out. This combination is also going to refurbish your intestines, clear some space during this um, intestinal cleansing. So that's a good thing to, to look at. And uh, if you can find a good... Um, colonic hydrotherapist, or if you can't, you know, take some enemas, but anything you can do to kind of wash out that colon. So colonics are an excellent thing to investigate. Um, and then you can, uh, some of you on this call have probably heard about um, the Edgar Cayce, um, all of his works and his healings and so forth, and he was a proponent of castor oil tax, and I want to share that because I have used that in my uh, clinic for almost over 40 years, and even with uh, women with menstrual cramps or people with anxiety and um, just um, overwhelm in their life, a lot of stress. But in particular, if you've got impacted colon or a toxic colon or tend toward constipation, you get a good form of, uh, of castor oil um, from, the, from the real castor bean. And you pour it on a <coughs> flannel cloth, a piece of white washed flannel cloth is good or a piece of undyed um, um, wool, and then you saturate it and you put it over your abdomen, kind of low around your navel and below, and um, you put a piece of plastic over that, maybe a, a towel, and then a heating pad, and you lay that way for maybe 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, and you do that three nights in a row, and it will really help to pull all those hardened mucoid plaques on the inside of the walls that we talked about. Uh, so that's another option when you're going through a detox. Um, and you can also then talk about adding some, uh, a, just a gentle um, herbal cleanse or a, a gentle cleanse. And we have a wonderful one that's called Stimutox. And it has um, psyllium seeds and senna leaf and cascara sagrada and it has flax seed and aloe vera gel and lactobacillus and acidophilus and licorice root and some uh, MCT oil, MTC oil. So that's a very good product. So think about that when you're going through a detox. It's called Stimutox, and it comes from Healthy Place Botanicals. You want something that's gentle. You can also take a look at some, some herbal teas to help break up the congestion. And we have a, a beautiful tea called Sharoma Skinny Tea. You can look that up, too, and uh, it's also helping to burn fat. It has lots of detoxification, antioxidant properties, anti-inflammatory properties, and it has the pure hemp oil and some cinnamon and some turmeric and ginger and lemon and peppermint and orange, and it's a wonderful uh, tea that you make warm uh, in the morning, and that may help you. Uh, then you might want to look at... Uh, possibly some uh, Epsom salts and uh, uh, or salt and soda bath. And we're not talking Coca-Cola soda or Mountain Dew soda. We're talking baking soda. And what I have found works really well is that you can do a pound of baking soda and a cup of sea salt and just uh, sit in that hot bath for, um, you know, maybe half an hour or 20 minutes or something. And that will help you detox and pull uh, a lot of the congestion out of your body. So consider doing that. Then there are these foot baths. Many people have experienced them. Um, I've been using foot baths now for almost 22 years. And um, these are ion foot bath cleanses. And there's many on the market. And anybody wants to know some of the, you know, best ones that I would recommend, just um, maybe send an email or something to um, Mary and Marie, and uh, she'll give me your contact information. I could tell you about that. So that's another thing to look at. Um, let's see now. One of the things in terms of uh, detoxing, we want to look at the liver. 
it's uh, quite amazing. This whole liver gallbladder um, filtration system is very important to to pay attention to. The liver is, you know, on call 24 hours a day. It's got all these difficult tasks to accomplish to ensure our survival, and its main job is to clean your blood nonstop. It filters, it neutralizes, it eliminates anything you've eaten or inhaled or absorbed that could be toxic to your body. It constantly attempts to trap all the pharmaceutical drugs, the undigested food particles, the viruses, the bacteria, the fungi, the dead cells, the debris, the alcohol, the household cleaners, all of the things that we're breathing and inhaling and ingesting. And then, you know, we talked about the personal care products. So those things like hairsprays and shaving creams and deodorants and soaps and makeups and pesticides. That's what the liver, it's just got a huge, uh, huge job. And we want to be sure that we pay attention in, in our detox program to detoxifying uh, the liver. And, um, you know, the liver weighs about five pounds. It's the largest single organ and the hardest working organ in the body. And if you really want to look your best and, and feel your best, uh, you want to take a look at a, a detox program that involves the liver. Um, you know, it has five main functions. It's a part of your body's immune system defense. It filters your blood. It removes your toxins. It stores vitamins and minerals and carbohydrates. It processes fats and proteins and carbohydrates. It produces bile, and that's that substance that breaks down fats so that they can be digested. And it breaks down and detoxifies hormones and chemicals and toxins and metabolic wastes. Um, so it's a very, very uh, important organ. And some of the ways uh, that your natural filter gets overloaded with toxins, it's from the toxins in your food, from uh, water that may contain, we've talked about this before, about the water and what's in our water systems today. It may contain bacteria and chemicals and heavy metals. And you know the thyroid is a sponge for heavy metals. So if people have thyroid imbalances, then uh, we like to check them for heavy metals. Um, and then uh, it also is dealing with digestion problems, kind of filtering out all of that from the yeast and the overgrowth of bacteria uh, and, and yeast and candida in the intestines. Uh, it purifies um, the system from food allergies, from parasites, from toxins in the air. And, and as we say, the toxins at home in the workplace and free radicals are produced in the liver from detoxification. So... Um, that's something to look about, too. And, you know, you may know some people that um, are kind of irritable. And if, if you know somebody, if you've had bouts of anger and rage and dark circles under your eyes, you might have liver toxicity, and especially common with uh, toxic liver people that are having this bouts of rage and anger. And you might watch for things like pallid skin and coating on the tongue and bad breath and skin rashes and poor skin tone kind of those itchy, weepy, swollen red eyes or yellow discoloration of the eyes, uh, sense of body odor, itchy skin, or a, kind of an altered bitter taste in your mouth. These can all be indications that you might have a toxic liver. You know, when I was a young um, doctor and the ink was barely dried on my, on my license, <laughs> a dear friend of mine, uh, she was in, in her 70s. She brings her husband, and he was yellow as a lemon. And his eyes were yellow, his skin was yellow, and she said, you know, uh, we don't go to conventional medical doctors. You're our only doctor. We, we, we're choosing you because you're holistic, and I, I've known them for years, and I saw them in, in my um, uh, clinics before I was a full-fledged doctor. So I said, oh, my, I says, you've got a, just one look at him, you've got a biliary duct blockage, which means one of the, he had a gallbladder full of gallstones, and it blocked his duct. And then every, all the bile backed up and turned him yellow. And he said, well, I ain't going for no surgery, and I'm not going to the medical doctors, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, let's try this. And I gave him, and there's many out there that you guys can research for a liver gallbladder detox. So um, I said, well, you know, you could take six ounces of pure olive oil, real good extra virgin olive oil. You could take six ounces of grapefruit juice and the juice of one lemon, mix it all up, 
Gag it down however you can get it down, and then lay on your right side in the fetal position, and let's just see what happens. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I had scheduled him for the chiropractic college there at uh, St. Louis for a cholecystogram, which is an x-ray that looks at your uh, gallbladder to see if it's full of stones. And he was okay with doing that because it wasn't, quote, the conventional medical hospital. So long story short, next morning he calls me and he says, you know, I've canceled my cholecystogram. And I said, what? And he says, well, uh, do you have a few minutes? I'm going to come in. I'm going to show you something. And I'll be darned if he didn't bring a whole jar of 60 gallstones that he had eliminated <laughs> and to tell me that that, that uh, detox cleanse worked. So don't run out and, and do that. You want to consult your doctor. You might have to do a few things before you, you go that route. But I just want to focus that there are natural things and wonderful natural books that you can go to and educate yourself and start to take a look at choices you're making and um, things that you can do to help you with the whole detoxification and keeping yourself healthy. Um, so let me just talk briefly about some food, some liver-friendly and detox-friendly and healthy-friendly diet choices. Foods to avoid, and most of this is common sense, but I'm just going to reiterate it. Uh, no processed foods, refined foods, no simple sugars, uh, fast foods, burgers, fries, pizzas, uh, fried chicken, tacos, those kind of things are usually loaded with toxic tag along. Um, increase your consumption of, if you're going to, uh, decrease your consumption rather of, of meat. If you're going to eat some meat, which is, which is fine, some people's blood type need some meat, um, use that extra lean and free range meat and poultry. Um, decrease your consumption of dairy products. I think we've mentioned that numerous times that it creates a lot of mucus in your system. We're the only mammals that drink uh, milk uh, after we're weaned or that drink um, uh, milk from an animal that's not a human, another mammal. So you'll never see a, a, a cow, you know, sucking on a giraffe or something like that. They just don't do it. They drink only the milk from their own kind. So we don't have the enzyme to process milk, most of this. It's not a good idea. And uh, decrease your saturated fats, all those marbled meats and the cheese and, and uh, the things that have those type of fats which clog up your arteries. And eliminate hydrogenated and partially hydrogenated fats like margarine, uh, deep fried foods, preserved meats like the bolognese and so forth, uh, the deli meats, the fatty meats, the animal skins. When you have a... Uh, for instance, a chicken with the skin, everybody loves that crispy skin, but all the toxins <clears throat> are stored in the skin. So we always peel the skin off and we only eat de-skinned uh, poultry. Uh, any processed uh, vegetable oils, most of those salad dressings, they're full of bad fats. So all I really use on my salads are olive oil or avocado oil or hemp oil, and you can get those at most stores, um, hemp oil. We're not talking the CBD-rich hemp oil. We're talking just hemp oil from hemp seeds. I eat hemp seeds every day, and they're wonderful. Um, and then eliminate uh, alcohol and coffee if you can and colas and, you know, dark teas. You know, green teas are okay. Um, healthy teas are okay. Um, and choose uh, diets with plenty of organic fruits and vegetables and free-range meats that are organic. Some of the most important vegetables, if you're going to do some juicing and you're going to add some things while you're trying to detox, do um, things, the cruciferous vegetables like cabbage and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and broccoli, kale and collard greens and mustard greens and turnips. Um, and also you want to get uh, a good um, amount of legumes and, and you know, different types of beans um, and they're rich in the enzymes, so they can help you break down your food. And then beets and carrots and dandelion root, dandelion greens, any kind of greens are excellent. Use liver-friendly starches, brown rice, wild rice, rice pasta, brown rice bread, and avoid these other starches like the wheat products and the breads and the bagels and the crackers and the pastas and the chips and the cereals, all of that, and start to... Um, uh, eliminate some corn products, too, because uh, especially most of the corn in this country is um, GMO'd. Um, nuts, raw nuts, and flaxseed oil, and evening primrose oil, and black currant seed oil, and borage oil, and fish oil, and we have some wonderful essential oils at Healthy Place Botanical, and we do have the, the borage oil, and we do have the, the uh, black seed oil, 
And baobab oil is also one of our products. We have wonderful. It's antioxidant. It uh, has rich in omega-3. It's rich in vitamin C. Um, so it's a wonderful oil that you can also look at and use. Um, we have borage oil, which has wonderful detoxing properties. We also have um, lemon oil, and some people would like to just put a few drops of lemon in their water every day. That helps detoxify the liver. We have salmon oil, and salmon is one of the best things when you look about the detox programs uh, or proteins that we use, salmon and mackerel and herring and halibut, and uh, those are excellent and free-range uh, extra lean chicken and turkey and free-range extra lean beef and, you know, eggs even uh, occasionally are totally fine. So look at some of those, even um, moringa oil. So of our oils, we have salmon oil that would be good, MCT oil, uh, black seed oil, baobab oil, um, moringa, um, lemon, and borage oil. So any of these would be good. And we have wonderful, all organically sourced, certified organic um, essential oils. So those are some important things to begin to look at. And, of course, minerals. Um, I would really take a good multivitamin mineral supplement, especially with zinc and copper and manganese and selenium and magnesium, and get some good vitamin C, vitamin E, and a good B complex. Those are things that are just excellent to support the liver and the gallbladder. And we won't go into, you know, kidney bladder detoxification, but you always want to flush those kidneys with good water and make it alkaline water and use our alkaline drops. So, um, and always the golden rule of liver care is don't overeat. So many people, we go to the buffets and we eat way more than we need to eat. So uh, kind of have smaller portions and we'll all be a whole lot healthier. And we mentioned in the, the weight loss lecture not too long ago, you always want to do a detox before you do any kind of a weight loss uh, program. The reason being, and those of you might remember the point of why we do that, when your body is, um, has, is carrying extra fat, extra weight, fat stores toxins, and we're one of the, we are in fact the fattest country in the world because we're the most toxic country in the world. Many other countries don't allow all of these colorings and flavorings and preservatives. They just don't allow them. We process our food with horrible amounts of toxins and most of our skin care and so forth, horrible amounts of toxins. So we want to begin a detox before we begin a fat flesh pro, uh, program because once you start a uh, fat flush program and all that fat starts to pour out these toxins and dump the toxins into your bloodstream, the brain goes, mark, mark, too many toxins, we're going to have a toxic overload. So you detox first, and that's when you use our product, the Stimutox. You detox, and it's enough in there for a 15-day cleanse. Uh, you do that first, and then you avoid what we call the plateauing. People will get on a, a fat loss program and they'll they'll do great. They'll be losing pounds and then all of a sudden, midway through their program, they're not losing any weight. They're just totally stopped, and that's called plateauing. And that's when the brain says, "Stop the fat burn. Too many toxins are being dumped." So trust me, that's the best way to do that. And some of you have uh, know about a very famous she's scholar. She's probably written 40 bestseller books. It's Anne Louise Gittleman. G-I-T-T-L-E-M-A-N. And Anne Louise Gittleman uh, has written several books. Uh, she, a national bestseller is The Fat Flush, Flush Plan. And then she wrote another little book, The Fat Flush Foods. And it's excellent. So if you want to educate yourself, those are two good books you can all uh, always uh, take a look at. So I want to share now, uh, before we close, some more of our products that you can begin to use to help you with this uh, detoxification program. First of all, you want to absolutely avoid the toxic personal care products. And we've got uh, beautiful, brand-new um, care products now, uh, Hemp Spa Lotion, and that's got some hemp and some citrus in it. Uh, uh, nano-infused and has wonderful ingredients, including some baobab and some black seed and some orange and raspberry and uh, some essential oils that help. And uh, the other thing is the, the hemp suds. That's a wonderful um, 
organic chelating spray shampoo that moisturizes your hair and it's got wonderful uh, all natural ingredients and including some beautiful oils, black seed and peppermint and lemon and eucalyptus and rosemary and moringa and orange and sweet basil, wonderful things that nourish the hair and are not going to dump a bunch of toxins on your skin. And then we have the very best uh, therapeutic healthy soaps and they're highly concentrated. You don't need very much. They're all organic and you can brush your teeth with them. In fact, I do. I brush my teeth, I wash my hair, I wash my toilet, wash my skin, wash everything with this healthy soap because it won't hurt the environment either. And all of our um, personal care products, uh, they're plant-based, they're organic, they're um, essential oils infused and nano hemp infused and they're toxin free and paraben free and petroleum free and preservative free and cruelty free and they don't have any of those harmful irritants and fragrances and colors uh, in them and they're non comedogenic that, that whole um, uh, hemp spa lotion uh, doesn't clog the pores so uh, you know you want to be careful what you put on your skin because it always ends up in your body so try some of our wonderful um, all-natural uh, personal care products. And, of course, we have um, our uh, hemp products. And, you know, we, we've had whole lectures and we'll have more about the endocannabinoid system and how CBD and all the health benefits and how it nourishes and helps detoxify and has so many health benefits. So find one from our um, uh products that we have, we've got the Nano Enhanced CBD and we've got the RMX CBD. It helps so many different things and they're non-GMO, they're all full spectrum, they're uh, all organic and you don't need any medical card, they're not psychoactive, they're not going to have that THC that gets you high so you don't have to worry about it. They're legal in all 50 states and it's quite amazing um, what they can do. You've got the um, RMX line, which is not nano-enhanced, but they're very potent and very powerful. You have levels 1, 2, and 3. They have different uh, amounts of dosages of milligrams per serving from 5 milligrams, 10 milligrams, and 50 milligrams of uh, very powerful, enriched, um, potent CBD. So find one from either that line or find one from the nano-enhanced, which are a little bit more potent. Um, all the same properties, all organic, uh, everything. But they have 98.7% availability, bioavailability, absorbability, compared to the RMX line, which is still wonderful, but they have 15% bioavailability. And to be honest with you, most hemp products out there have maybe only 5 or 10% absorbability. So we're already ahead of the game, even if it's not nano-enhanced. So explore uh, some of those things, and I think you'll be uh, amazed. And I want to add, too, take a look at our nano-silver product. Nano-silver, and we've talked about that before in other calls, is some um, when you're dumping toxins, you got all this toxic sludge and maybe you got some parasites, maybe you got a little little infection in there because the toxins are causing, you know, some problems. You got dead cells. And so to enhance your immune system and help them get rid of some of this, I would also, as your detox program, I would add the nano silver. Take it during your detox program. If you're doing a 15-day detox, whatever you're doing, add some nano silver and just follow the directions uh, on the bottle. And uh, and then look as well as the Stimulift Greens. Uh, if you look at the Stimulift Greens, it has amazing um, ingredients in it to balance your hormones and your heart and your metabolism and improve blood flow and have better athletic performance and increased energy and stamina and and even sexual health. And it works in about 30 minutes. And most people are taking some kind of green drink or they're taking something, uh, green powder that they put in their smoothies. I would absolutely invite everybody to, to look at this. It's very powerful, very potent. Um, and you can take it just with warm waters or, or warm water or in a smoothie. It's got the tuna seed powder and our organic tribulus fruit powder. It's got organic horny goat weed, organic hawthorn, uh, berry powder. All of these are organic. Ginger root, cayenne pepper, 
ginseng, um, uh, a wild-crafted uh, Miria Puama powder, a wild-crafted uh, Damiana leaf and maca root and so forth. So, so look at that. That would be a good choice, especially if you're going to do, which I would recommend, some intermittent fasting, which also helps uh, detoxify the body. You can do one day a week, like Monday, you do a, a good fast, and maybe you just take this this uh, green drink as, as your nourishment for the day. Or you might do a five-day intermittent fasting once a month or once every two, three months. But intermittent fasting is another thing to look at. It's even written in the Bible, uh, the health benefits of fasting. So I think I've added all the, the ingredients and all the um, – the possible uh, products that we have that would be wonderful as an adjunct to some of the things that I'm uh, sharing with you. So I think what I want to do now is just end for here and stay on the line in case you have any questions, and I'll just uh, be around to answer them. God bless everybody. Um, hey, Dr. Kelly? Yes. Uh, Jerome, certainly not surprised from your presentation. Outstanding outstanding and then outstanding again. I know that there are people waiting for me to get out of the way where they can ask some questions. So I'm going to do just that. Uh, Katrina, let's open the lines up where uh, Dr. Kelly can entertain some questions. Dr. Kelly? Yes. Um, this is Robert Richdale in, in Los Angeles, California. I have a question. Yes. I have a tendency to bloating uh, in uh -huh. my gut, and uh, I think part of what you talked about the stimulant. Uh, sir, sir, may help sir, you. hold it one second. If, if you have background noise and I can hear uh, children in the background, please put yourself on mute. Just hit star, star six, and that will mute you out. And when you have a question, you can come back in and unstar yourself. Your star six to be. Go ahead, sir. Okay, yes. So anyway, I have a, a tendency, my, my dad had it, had kind of a, a big kind of gut, and I have a tendency to bloating, and I'm wondering what product I could take with like a daily cleanse. I mean, I'm, I'm eating much more raw vegetables now. Um, I've got some Salad Master cookware. I'm, I'm doing a lot better on my uh, the foods I eat. So I'm um, just wondering what you can maybe add to that, because I was interested in the stimulus ox and things. You, if you have something uh, like the more, I'm going to I'm going to try drinking that warm water with lemon juice in the morning, and uh, things like that. And I'm exercise, I'm trying to walk an, a mile a day also to keep my gut flat and get my 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 gut my belly gut down. What what could you suggest more for tendency exactly. to bloat? Well, the most important thing is water, water, water. And if you want to add the Sharoma Skinny Tea as your morning um, uh, extra drink that you drink, that would be very helpful. And that warm water with lemon in the morning, absolutely, that would be helpful. But the belly is usually a, an overgrowth of yeast or it's just kind of a toxic bowel. So absolutely, mm -hmm. the Stimu Detox would work. And I would add the um, Stimu Lift, the, the greens program that I just said, yes. because uh, that, that will give you good. the good nourishment. And, and all of the points that I mentioned would be things for you to look at. And they'll give you a replay okay. number for this because I know I talk fast. Um, yes, in any one of great. the CBD products, I would absolutely. Are you taking any CBD now in your diet? I'm not. I started it. I had. I had a from the internet. I had a quick uh, uh, an offer. Uh, 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 what do they call it? A promotional offer. Yes. But I need to get yes. some more. C I need to get CBD oil. I believe in it. Uh, because I don't have a lot of pain, but I do believe in it. Just taking it as a good oil for the body. What well, would you see? It's, it's not just for pain. When you look okay. at what CBD does and do your due diligence and do your research, and, you know, we can't talk about curing or treating disease right. or anything, but um, when if you can, listen to some more calls when, when we're discussing the endocannabinoid system. It's a system that regulates every other system in our body, and we have all of these receptor sites in our body uh, that God put there for a reason. And, um Amen. Uh, wants us to have uh, cannabidiol, wants us to have these cannabinoids that are so rich in phytonutrients and enzymes and amino acids and terpenes. And our, our system, our endocannabinoid system, 
regulates everything. I mean, our pain, uh, our mm-hmm. appetite, our sensation, inflammation, our moods, our energy, metabolism, stress, muscle control, all of these things, liver, brain, heart, lymph, blood system, immune system. Mm-hmm. So it's not just for discomfort in the body. It is okay. actually for everything. So I believe God put mm-hmm. all those receptor sites in our body. Our body makes some. Our body already mm-hmm. makes some of these endocannabinoids. Endo means endogenous, which means the body makes it. So God wouldn't mm-hmm. put those in there if it wasn't important. But because we're so toxic and so stressed in this country and we've got so much coming at us all the time, our body is not able to keep up with that, and it's not making enough of these cannabinoids. So we, I think everybody, it's God's food. Um, all the uh, original uh, founding forefathers of this country were all hemp farmers. And mm-hmm. um, I really believe everybody should be taking this because those receptor sites are hanging out, just going, doo 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 where's the can- cannabidiol, where is it, where is it, and, and we're not getting <laughs> it enough. So everybody on this call, the first thing you should do for anything, even if you're really, really healthy, you want to stay that way, get you some healthy hemp, and we have some of the very best on the market. The hemp is uh, hemp is, is it an oil. I mean, hemp oil. Yes, it comes as an yeah. oil, and it it's in a little dropper. And there's different uh, forms, different strengths of it, and there's nano enhanced, which, make, which makes it even more potent and more mm-hmm. bioavailable. So look at what we have. We have many different forms, and you can find one that you feel is a fit for you. And mm-hmm. absolutely, uh, take some hemp every day. It's it's a food. It's not a medicine. Okay. It's not a supplement. It's a food. Okay, great. And what is your website? Where can I go to get these products? Um, go back. Who invited you to this call? A friend of mine, uh, Charlene Chang. Well, go back to her, and she will give you her website, and that's where you want to go. Okay. All right. I get it. You Thank bet. you very much. You bet. Appreciate it. Uh-huh. Thanks. God bless. Hello, this is Jamel Rathley. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Perfect. First of all, uh, Dr. Karen, your calls are always so informative, and I always play them back because it is difficult to get all the information written down at one time. <laughs> I, will definitely be I, was, bo- I was born in New York, and I still talk like this, but if you live down here in Alabama uh, long enough, <laughs> You sort of talk like this, and it's a little bit slower, and you got that little thing going on. But I still have got my my New York. Let's get her done. I know. Well, listen, I talk fast, and I'm from South Carolina, so you know. Well, there you go. (laughs) But I wanted to ask a question about the morning water with lemon. I've been doing, you know, the regular organic lemon squeezing it in there. But if you want to use the Healthy Place Botanicals lemon, Healthy Place Botanicals lemon oil, since oil and water don't mix, how would you get the drop in there and get it? Oh, that's the water? no problem. Yeah, I, I put lemon in my water or peppermint every day because I love the taste of it, and it doesn't mm-hmm. matter if it doesn't exactly mix. You just shake it up. I have a, I have a glass water bottle. Put it in there, mm-hmm. shake it up, take a drink. Before I drink it, maybe half hour later, shake it up again. It's really okay, honey, um, and it's totally fine. So you're, you're right. It okay. doesn't exactly mix, but it mixes enough so you get it. And it doesn't take much now. If you're using our peppermint oil, oh, my gosh, one tiny drop to a 16-ounce mm-hmm. bottle of water is more peppermint mm-hmm. than you can handle. So don't be pouring five, six, ten drops in there. But uh-huh. you'll figure it out. You'll, you'll, you'll put some lemon in there. And you'll figure out what is too much, and then the next bottle you'll put a little less. But absolutely use those oils um, uh, for, for your uh, for your water. That'll help. And if you do it with warm, do you warm the water or just room temperature? I don't. I, I I just put it in room temperature, and that's a good point. I want to tell everybody on the call: do not eat. Mm-hmm. Drink cold water. Don't put your water in the fridge. Don't be crunching on ice. It'll crack your teeth, and it ain't good for your spleen. So it's right. too much of a shock. Our body is room temperature. You know, right. uh, you want room temperature stuff. So I wouldn't do cold. So, yeah, it works fine in room temperature water. Yeah, I don't do cold either. I was just wondering if you needed to warm it up, but room temperature is fine. You do not, No. No, you, you okay. don't. You, you can put it in there. Be sure it's um, room temperature 
first, mm -hmm. and then and then you're good to go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I have a question, a little bit off the wall, because I didn't hear the first part of the call, so I'm not sure exactly what you were on. But I have what they call drop. This is Sharon in Carson City. Uh huh. Uh, I have what they call drop foot. Is there anything that would benefit that? But oils would work best for me to put on my ankle and foot. Well, the the um, we were talking more about detoxification, but let me just answer that in this way. With Healthy Place Hemp, we do not treat or diagnose or do anything about preventing or mitigating disease. So we don't talk about uh, disease entities, so to speak. But I can tell you, if you are alive and you have cells in your body, you need hemp oil. So it, it will help anybody, no matter what your health challenge is, no matter what your diet or anything else is, you cannot go wrong with taking healthy hemp. And we have the most potent, beautiful, organic, full-spectrum, healthy hemp anywhere. And so I would let, take a look at that rather than say, well, do this for that and do this for that and do this for that. You're going to treat the cells. All disease and all healing begins at the cellular level. And this is going to nourish your cells and it's going to uh, hook up to those beautiful endocannabinoid receptor sites. Did you know we had more? endocannabinoid receptor sites in our brain than we do neurotransmitter receptor sites. So God put them there for a reason. So the body is waiting and craving CBD, and I would uh, start there. That's where I would start. Well, I'm putting the CBD lotion on it now. That I would help, too. Absolutely. I also take the CBD drops. I'm Perfect. one of these people who's had her – my scars all disappeared from taking the CBD. Excellent. That, that's something <laughs> so else we I am a believer. <laughs> yes. Well, you're doing the right thing, honey, and just, uh, you know, pay attention to some of the things I said about toxic uh, hair care products and so forth. Um, keep the toxins off your body. Uh, get the good nutrition, the good water. You might take some alkaline drops. That will help. And um, start to use that uh can you lift the green strength? That will give you wonderful nourishment. You've got to nourish and hydrate your cells. That's the okay. most important thing. Well, I turn 83 next week, so I'm not doing well. Well, hallelujah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Good for you. So you're, you're a product of the product. <laughs> <laughs> Two could say that, yes. Excellent. Well, you take good care. I am doing my best. That's all I can do with a That's little help. Absolutely. Dr. Kelly? Yes. Dr. Kelly, I have a question for you. Uh, I mean, I'm in, uh, I'm in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Swan. And I would like to ask you now, I'm contemplating detoxing, but I want to do it on all raw. And I'm, I get some people call it vegan, but I just want to do all raw fruits and vegetables for about a month. And I was thinking, would this be all... So this would be all right to include the aroma coffee uh, with that. I could I could barely hear that last uh, last part of your question. They say that again. The last sentence. The aroma coffee. I wanted to drink with the with the all raw diet. Yes, I got you. Okay. As far as I know, now maybe Jerome or somebody could tell me, but I don't think we have the Sharoma coffee in stock yet, but it's coming soon, I believe. Yes, I know it's coming, um, but I'm going to be okay. first on the list. <laughs> well, I'm going to be second, girl. <laughs> yeah, so that would be fine. Um, uh, absolutely, that would be fine, and it, it would not bump into what you're doing. You bet. Well, I'll make you all jealous. I haven't ran out of coffee yet. <laughs> Hey, oh where do you live? I want your I want your number and your address. I'm in the car yeah. heading that way right now. I just I started my uh, the last of the third bag. <laughs> I really stocked up when we got it back in last time. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a six month supply. <laughs> yes, and, and it's overdue now. It's overdue. Well, it'll be in soon, and we'll all be happy campers. Yes, thank you. You're welcome.
We've got a few more minutes, and if anybody would like to share uh, a testimony, you can do that as well, or if you have another question. If you do share a testimonial, you can only share your own testimonial. Um, we want to be really compliant, and you can't say any disease like arthritis or diabetes, but you can just share your story if you like, or if anyone else has a question, we've got about five more minutes. Dr. Well, Kelly, I, I got a, this is Carl, I got a comment. Well, okay then. That was a great, wonderful call, but you ruined one of my businesses. Uh oh, what did I ruin? I had I had Tupperware. I'm, I do Tupperware. What, what's going on? <laughs> oh, gosh, honey, that was my very first network marketing company when I was 18 years old, I think, or 20, at Tupperware parties at my mother's home. Oh my gosh, how I those remember plastic, that. <laughs> those plastic containers are no good. So, okay. I'm telling you, and they burp too. You had to burp the darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, gosh, you're welcome. <laughs> well, I've lost the 40 pounds, so uh, I'm doing okay with my coffee. Excellent, excellent. That's the plan. We probably have time for maybe one more question. Anybody else? else have a question or would like to share your experience with these amazing products. Let's see, Dr. Kelly, um, I've got Arlene Gagger muted, so let's see, can I find you? She has a question. Um, why do I have you muted, Arlene? Let me just unmute you. Everyone, I had some people muted because of back. I think that's Arlene. Arlene, you there? Oh, yes, you had us muted. Can I have a question? Uh, another question uh -huh. on the wrap that you use on your stomach? Yes. Uh -huh. Can you go over? I'd like to kill. Yes. Uh, it's just castor oil. You go to a good health food store, you get a good source of castor oil, and you get some uh, white fennel, um, or you get some undyed wool, and you saturate that with a good form of castor oil, and you put it right over your abdomen, kind of a, uh, a little bit above, a little bit below your, your navel, and that will take care of all the, the large intestine, the small intestine. And then you put maybe a little piece of plastic on top of it, and then okay. you put um, uh, maybe a towel on top of that and then a little heating pad. And don't crank it up too high. You just get it nice and warm, and you lay there for maybe a half an hour or so. And then when it's done, you want to throw away that piece of cloth. You don't want to use it again because it is pulling out all the toxins and all the congestion. You can do this three nights in a row. And um, it will start loosening all those mucoid plaques that we talked about that are all stuck to your colon. And um, then whatever you do, like colonics or uh, our wonderful stimu uh, tox programs to detoxify and the waters and all of that, that will help flush it out better. Okay. Thank you so much. You said 20 minutes each night. Yeah, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever um, should be enough. And, um, and do it three nights in a row. Use a fresh cloth each time. Oh, great. Thank you. Dr. Kelly, this is Arlene. I just Hi, had Arlene. a quick question. Is there any uh, uh, anything we can do to uh, to help people who have had um, uh, their thyroidectomy uh, because they're having some problems? Um, uh, well, a lot of problems, but is there a relationship between the thyroid not distributing the hormones and the 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 uh, constipation and that joint body aches, things like that? Is there, is there anything that we have? Uh, I would right now take um, well, you know the the. Uh, women's total balance also balances hormones and it balances thyroid health. That may be a, a, a good thing to explore, absolutely. And um, any of the hemp products will be excellent as well. Take a look okay. at the women's total balance. That might be something that would be a fit for you. Okay. Thank you so much. And thank you oh, for all well, you I shared forgot. tonight. Oh, you're quite welcome. I forgot to mention when we talked about all the good personal hair care and skin care products, we have a fabulous um, hair uh, product for extreme hair growth, and it kind of helps your hair uh, 
be longer and thicker and stronger and healthier and grow faster and, and so forth. So that may be something if you're looking for a product like that instead of going to the store and getting something toxic. This product is called Hemp Tabulous. It's hemp and then tabulous, just like fabulous. So you can look at that as well. Uh, that's an amazing uh, product, and it has the five milligrams of the nano CBD and uh, gets right into your scalp and um, it seems to work beautifully. So that's another good, healthy personal care product that you can look at. Okay, I think we're at the top of the hour. I'm going to let somebody else kind of close out. I just want to say I'm so excited to be a part of this company and our a wonderful Healthy Place Hemp and Healthy Place Botanical Family is growing. And uh, I love teaching and sharing and educating, and I love these products. And I've been using them now, and now at a point where I'm getting some wonderful results, and my animals love these products. We have CBD for pets, and um, my patients are having wonderful results too. So explore them, share them with others. Don't be shy. Tell everybody what we have and invite them to our calls. God bless.